do I want to stay in Germany? Do I want to have a blue heart? And do I want to secure a job here? Then you definitely should look. How do you design this kind of program? Smart factoring, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. How FOM as a private university is different as compared to other private universities in Germany. Last night, we just welcomed the 110,000 graduate here in Germany. So what kind of courses do we have for our students? This is like for the students who really are interested in the German automotive industry. When a student is selected, a private university, what are the criteria you need to consider? I am at FOM University with Dr. Christian and today we'll be discussing more about FOM University, why students should go to FOM University and as you know that Amrit Pala version is mostly capturing all the campuses around the globe for our students to see what exactly where you will be studying, how is the campus and to make sure that before you come you are familiar with the faces here. So yes, let's start our podcast. So hello Professor Christian and thank you for the tour, the campus tour what uh, Ms. Alina offered us. So can you please tell us something about FOM University? Hello everybody, welcome to FOM University. FOM has been a brand in the German market for very long already. It was founded in 1991 and it has educated more than 100,000 German students. Last night we just welcomed the 110,000 graduate here in Germany. Only after the last six years, FOM has now been more looking into an international strategy and is now welcoming for six years ongoing students from all over the world here at the international office in Essen, Germany, and also at the FOM campuses in Munich and Berlin. Wow, so what kind of courses do we have for our students? In terms of programs, we have a strong focus on the master programs in digital technologies and management. That is the interface between IT and engineering with subjects such as information security, smart factoring, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Then also we have a focus in uh, big data and business analytics. This is for the absolutely IT prone clientele of students that we welcome here and they look into um, applied programming, big data analysis, big data analytics and a lot of more subjects in the IT area. Then we have a typical program for engineers who want to become more business um, oriented in what they do. Some of them want to be founders. That's a program, also a master of science in engineering and management. A lot of them want to open up businesses, want to turn on family businesses, move on their family businesses, and they have this strong management drive. Then on the bachelor level, we have two strong programs. One is Bachelor in Mechanical Engineering. This is like for the students who really are interested in the German automotive industry and the mechanical engineering tradition that we have in Germany and that Germany stands itself as a brand for on the one hand. And on the other hand, we have a management program in uh, computer science and also um, data analytics. So this computer science program again is for the more IT interested students. On the other hand, we have an MBA program, that's a third pillar I didn't talk about yet. And the MBA program is addressing people who already do have a job experience and who want to pursue such a general management program. And that is probably the most diverse crowd of students that we have in one single batch. So Dr. Christian, mm. can you please tell us that how do you design this kind of program? Okay, how do we design the programs? I don't want to be too complicated, but just put it like that. FOM is special in that it um, is very market oriented. It really caters to the job market. It was founded by employers associations in the 1990s and they want to bring out highly educated potentials to the job market. So whenever we design a program, we have a board. We have people from companies on the board. We have professors on the board. We have students on the board, we have professors from other universities on the board and this is how after market research 
we take the programs, present them to the board, the board is evaluating what has been created and then they accredit what we have done and they bring it then to the market. Yeah, this is how we do things. And what at FOM again is in terms of teaching a speciality, we do have full-time lecturers, professors, but we also have a lot of lecturers from the industry and we have lecturers who have their own business and lecture at FOM. So it is very practically and oriented. And in the end, what we want to have here at FOM is students that are not just students who take in information, but students who become problem solvers, innovators in the industry. So can you please put some light on how FOM as a private university is different as compared to other private universities in Germany? I think it is different as FOM is locally networked. I mentioned before, we have our main international office here in Essen, but we also have colleagues working in a small international office in Munich and Berlin, and we're setting up more of these international local offices across the country and that reflects the very fact that FOM has more than 30 centers of studies and these centers of studies are all strongly locally networked. They have a lot of networks into the local industry. If you think about Munich for example where a lot of the big tech companies are sitting in Europe or around Essen which is a highly industrialized area where a lot of large corporate companies have their headquarters and we have teachers and lecturers also from these companies. We are largely networked locally and that is really what the students benefit from when they finally go onto the blue card after graduating because we are a fully accredited university, of course. And this is what makes us different from a lot of other universities. All right. So since you have a very good experience of 18 years and into particular FOM university, so what is your thought process that when a student is selecting a private university, what are the criteria you need to consider? I think the very first thing you should think about is like, do I want to stay in Germany? Do I want to have a blue card and do I want to secure a job here? then you definitely should look for a university that is solidly accredited like FOM for example. The second thing you should thought about is like the course content, of course, because the courses that they are tailored to the needs of the actual job market right now. So we are crafting the talents for the job market and you should select your subject depending on where you see yourself on that job market here in your own future and career. So how student can apply at FM University? Very easy. Just apply to Amrit Pal, a vision, FOM's trusted partner in India. So yes, students, now I'm fully considering the FOM University for your future also. And I am sure while seeing the campus tour and looking about the course content, what FOM University has offered for our students, I'm definitely sure that you will be selecting a good future ahead with FM University and with Amrit Palo Vision. Stay tuned. Thank you. Dr. Christian, who designed the program for students looking to study international programs over here. So they have more than 100,000 graduate students who are German nationals or who came a different part of the world. On the master level, they have to have a bachelor degree, of course. And depending on whether they do an MBA or not, they need job experience, but that is only for the MBA. What are the basic requirements for masters? Well, the basic requirement for masters, of course, is a bachelor degree from an accredited university.